Hello, welcome to my live stream. My name is Kyle Suggs on this edition of Informal. I thought I'd do a quick video. Right now it is Thursday. I am just got off of work and I wanted to do a quick video talking about what's going on in the Marvel Universe, particularly the Captain Marvel Universe. And look, I, I know, I know, I know. Before you roll your eyes and say, why is this guy doing Captain Marvel again? Come on, it's like all over the internet. The reason why I'm doing another Captain Marvel video or even mentioning it is because Captain Marvel has become the poster child for identity politics. It's become sort of a line in the sand of I've had enough and I'm not taking it anymore from fans who feel like they're being relegated to the side, denigrated, humiliated, laughed at, scorned, and mischaracterized by not only just their peers, but also major corporations like Disney and Marvel and so forth. And and the thing is, we want to make sure that our voices are heard. And when you can't express these things, when things happen sort of like, uh, let's say, um, oh yeah, like Rotten Tomatoes, uh, cutting all the audience scores and not allowing people to say up or down if I want to go see a movie because, oh yeah, it went from... 97% Rotten Tomato score anticipation to um, 26%. Talking about Captain Marvel. Oh, oh yeah, and by the way, the CEO of Fandango owns Rotten Tomatoes. Oh yeah, and also he also was an executive at Disney for 12 years. So yeah, so there's no there's no conspiracy there, of course. And so, but the thing is this. It doesn't matter. Captain Marvel is just an example of what's going on in our society. We are dealing with a situation where if you don't like something and you make a voice about it or make an opinion about it, not only are you wrong, but you're wrong and you're almost darn near criminal. You are labeled a racist, a sexist, a homophobic. Pick your ist and that is what you are. And no matter what you feel, if you want to put a downward thumb on this video, which is fine, just remember... It's only a matter of time before they come after you because it's only a matter of time before they find something that you care about that you are going to be denigrated for because somebody got upset. And then you realize, oh, well, maybe those guys had a point. But unfortunately, because you are where you are right now and you can't see what's going on around you right now, it probably will be too late. So that's what's going on. And that's why we're so upset with Captain Marvel. And that's why so many people are coming out and saying, these videos and, and, and making this known because it goes well beyond a movie. It goes well beyond, you know, a female lead in a movie, which by the way, I am a hundred percent for, I love female led movies. And in, in fact, in many ways, I prefer them a lot more. I really do. Some of my fam most famous movies that I like the most are led by females. And I would like to see a whole bunch more. In fact, you know, it, I want a good story. I don't care who is leading it, period. I want a good story. But when you have a female who, who's leading the story or a black man who's leading the story or a white guy who's leading the story and they want to inject their own politics in it and then say, you know what? If you don't go see my movie, you're you're this. and Or even worse, you're not even allowed to see my movie because it wasn't made for you. It wasn't made for you. What's that about? I mean, you're going to tell me Captain Marvel is a comic book movie. Who sees comic books? If you go to a comic book store, what do you see? You see white men, period. You see white men. And so you're trying to tell me that you're going to make a comic book movie of a genre about, you know, about that's generated or basically um, supported or upheld by white men that they're not, that they don't want to, that this sort of thing isn't made for them. And I know, I know before you say it was taken could be considered out of context. I get that. I know what she said. I get it. Um, she didn't quite say what I'm saying, but that's the perception. And it falls in line with her actions inside that press um, conference um, speech and outside of it. Her actions with the reporters, her actions, her, her, her attitude, all of that goes without saying. And so that's what we're upset about. And we saw what happened to other franchises like Ghostbusters. And mind you, Ghostbusters has been a long time and, you know, it's, it hadn't had a movie in many years. It was not really a franchise, but people who love it still want to see it treated with respect. I mean, 
the misogynistic attitudes in that movie were just ridiculous. I mean, I, I didn't see the movie, but I saw a clip of what happened at the end with the Marshmallow Man or wherever that was. That was horrendous. I mean, that is, that's, it's silly and it's unnecessary. And so I refused to watch that movie. Then you go on to The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi was an offshoot of The Force Awakens, which I want to talk about Star Wars a little bit here too. The Last Jedi could have been a fantastic movie because J.J. Abrams, the director of uh, The Force Awakens, in my opinion, did a great job. I loved The Force Awakens. I saw it nine times in the theater. I loved the setup. J.J. Abrams has this mystery box approach. He gives up things, ideas into a movie with no real reason, giving somebody else behind him or her to come up with ideas to flesh them out. He creates the ideas and lets other people flesh them out. Well, unfortunately, Ryan Johnson wanted to make a point and maybe direct, maybe, maybe Disney and Kathleen Kennedy directed him to do this. But at some point, somebody should have stopped and said, come on, guys, we have all these points. We have Ray is now a nobody. We have Kylo Ren and Knights of Ren means nothing. No helmet anymore because whatever. We have Luke Skywalker throwing a lightsaber over his shoulder. The lightsaber of his father. The lightsaber that he lost, you know, his hand. I mean, I, I can go on. We lost uh, Han Solo, which may have been a Harrison Ford thing, but we lost Luke. And, and, and then we have a situation with uh, all these things that happen where now we're in episode nine and there's nowhere to go with it. What's to do? There's nobody left. So they have to bring back Lando. I mean, that's great. I'd like to see Lando back, but you know, there was, you basically spent two movie, one movie to set, set, set things up, a second movie to knock them all down. And now you have your last movie to do what? What are you going to do? And I have no desire to see this movie. I have gone online and read every single spoiler I can get my hands on. Just because I just don't care. The Force Awakens, I knew absolutely nothing. I saw one trailer, that was it. One trailer. For The Last Jedi, I saw one trailer, that was it. I went in there unspoiled, and this one, I'm going to see as much as I can, if I see it at all. I haven't decided. I also haven't decided if I'm going to see um, Captain Marvel. Because the reason being is I love this stuff, and I don't, I don't want to give them validation of them taking this stuff and tearing it down. At first, I was kind of cynical of these other sites saying, Hey, you know, this is bad or whatever, whatever. I was, I was, I was upset by critics of the force. Uh, sorry. I was critics of people who were upset with the last Jedi at first. I was upset with people who are talking about, you know, movies that I thought were, were good, but you know, but then I realized, you know what, they have a point. And if I continue to support this stuff, it's just going to get worse. So I say we draw a line in the sand and go for it. And so Mark Hamill recently came out for the fans uh, recently. And he basically said that, you know what? He missed the fact that, Leia and Han and Luke will never see each other again. It's really touching. And he he raised the concerns that he actually had talked to the uh, the higher ups and said, hey, this is what Luke's character is about. You know, you mean I'm just going to walk past C-3PO and not say anything to him. And it seems like he almost had to fight to even give him a wink. And, you know, I, I think people are understanding. And my point to all that is, is that people don't want to see a universe like Marvel, which has been the Star Wars of this generation, be treated what ha like what happens to, to uh, Star Wars and Ghostbusters, and 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 I just I don't see the, any other way, and so that's why I'm doing these videos. You know, I, I love entertainment, and I want to uh, let people uh, enjoy the medium like I can, but it's hard to enjoy it when I have to interject things in there to say, hey, but wait a minute, the movie's good, but wait a minute, you know, I got almost have to put a spin on it which is why I did my conservative take. So I can kind of say, hey, this movie is great, but these things in it, we don't really agree with, or this is why these are in this in this, in this this movie, or this is what they got wrong in the movie, you know, so that you can kind of get some more perspective because this is a war of ideas. It's a, it's a culture war, and there's a lot going on. I'm not going to touch into that other stuff, but uh, I just want to just say right now that um, I'm excited about, uh, where we're going with this. I think things are changing and I'm excited about all of the new YouTubers out there who are trying to do things like myself. And I'm just a small, uh, a small spoke in the wheel, you know, but without that, I'm rambling. I kind of forgot my points I'm going to bring up, but I think I got all my points I was going to talk about. And so I may do another video tonight, depending on if I can think about anything else. 
and uh, I'll do a more formal one with um, probably with a, with the screen, so I can kind of show some articles and stuff like that. And I got a couple more movie videos. I'm sorry, more movie reviews to put up as well. So thanks so much. If you like what you're hearing on this channel, let me know. Do me a favor, please, and hit the like button and subscribe. And please share with your friends. Let them know. And I look forward to doing more of this. And uh, so with that, you know what? I tell you guys, continue on being awesome. And I will check you out on the next video.